I'm, I'm looking at you directly and I want to engage, but I'm feeling different. I don't feel myself anymore. And is the mask representative of how I feel that I look? Or is the mask hiding me away from how I think you think I look? And that's what that image is about. It's the question of the change psychology that happened to me when I experienced this illness when I did. This is an introduction to chapter three, Reversing Through the Rear View, which is my MFA project, which I have just completed in 2021. When I started the MFA at Ulster University, I embarked upon a photographic journey. And as part of that, I started to think about subject matter. Uh, in reflecting on the possible options, I decided to look at a period of trauma that I'd experienced 12 years previously, which was cancer, uh, multiple myeloma. And in doing so, that led me on the journey of looking at how I would actually execute the project. Would it be self-portraits? Would it be abstract type photography? And I suppose when I considered it more closely, actually self-portraiture became the central focus of the actual project. So I started actually doing some of the early work, which was some of the bath sequences. And I think when I looked at that and generated those images, that gave me the confidence and impetus to actually start exploring many of the other different emotional and psychological uh, issues that affected me at that period of time. Of course, it was all retrospective. It was all resurfacing. It was bringing things back up to the surface, thinking about them, photographing them, reflecting, and then that became that iterative process, which, um, which I hope you will see running through this work. So the challenges in generating the work, I think, was really having, first of all, the confidence to put myself in front of the camera. I'd, I'd shied away from that in the past, and actually that was part of the reason why I did the project. I wanted to put myself in front of it and to explore the emotional aspects of, of the experience, the trauma that, that, I, had, that I had had. Um, I suppose technically when I started to shoot some of the images, that didn't always necessarily work. So I started to deploy different tactics, such as um, uh, slow shutter speeds, which uh, became very effective in showing a sense of the emotional and the psychological challenges that I was experiencing as I, as I, went, um, as I went through the, the actual um, experiencing. I raised questions such as whether black and white and color were good media to use and having initially started in black and white I then subsequently transferred all the images in, into colour because I felt colour was a theme that ran through the actual body of work. You'll see a lot of red, a lot of blue in, in the actual, uh, in, in the work as you, as you look through it. So that, that was a challenge in, in, in itself and I, what became the greatest challenge however was really representing my psychology. How could I get below the surface of the psychological impact? And that's where, I, for example, I use some x-rays uh, in representing and use them in diptychs to, uh, to show uh, some of the issues that I experienced. And I actually started to draw and use adapted images. So rather than pure photography, I took images and then started to manipulate them in drawing software or in software like Photoshop. Well, well, I suppose what resonates with me about having gone through the work and created this, um, this body of, of art or images is that I've survived. I, I'm here today. Um, 
And actually, as difficult as it was to look back and reflect and to resurface and to look at how emotionally stilted I was and perhaps how exclusive I was and going it alone and pushing the people that loved me to the side, uh, I did it the way I did it. Uh, but I have learned from that. I've learned that uh, you have to grab life and you have to live it to the, to the full. I've learned that you never know what's around the corner. So whilst you shouldn't actually fixate on what's around the corner, you should take the fact that you have today and there's nothing wrong to be a fantastic thing and to, to move your life forward in whatever way that you can. And in fact, doing the MFA was in fact one of those life-changing experiences for me. Having experienced my illness, changed my life, thinking I was going to die, then finding out that I was living, I then had to find something new, a new challenge to take, and it was the MFA that did it. The irony, of course, being that I then subsequently went back to the illness to look at that and reflect on it because that was the best way for me to learn about how to be an artist. Uh, but that's what I find really, I suppose, interesting and stimulating about having gone through that process. So what hopes do I have for, for the work? Um, I suppose I've put my heart and soul into the work over the last uh, two years. So, And I'm an artist, so I want to be liked. I, I want to be loved. So I, I hope there's some form of psychological engagement that, I, that people experience when they look at it. Uh, I want or desire for people to be affected by it, of course. Um, illness is something that's not really spoken about much. We're not taught how to deal with illness in schools. We're, as humans, when we experience it, I think we're often ill-equipped. Um, so in a way, I'm hoping my work raises the need to talk about illness, to talk about death, to talk about frailty, to talk about vulnerability, to be aware of the needs that people have when they're going through those experiences. And I suppose, hopefully, that people will become better supporters of ill, Ill people or people who are frail and perhaps uh, going to die. Because remember, I wasn't sure whether I was going to live. My, my prognosis was three to five years, and that's 12, 12 years on. Uh, so in, in a sense, I want to start people to start a dialogue around these things. And then specifically looking at masculinity and males, men are terrible at talking about what's going on below the surface. And if this project um, encourages people to do that, that would make me very happy. So I suppose in summary, the, the final image is for me the reflective of the fact that having been through that trauma and gone back and reversed through the rear view to look at it, I actually am as strong today as I was before I got ill. I'm just different.